Hi guys, here we go again. One more 3D printed Caldwell conversion uppercut from Game Punch Showdown. And this one is going to customer to USA. And as always we do, we do a quality check. And so let's start with getting bullets in. One, two, three, number four, number five, and all six in. Here we go. And now let's check the combination between hammer, trigger, and cylinder. And that means when I pull like pull back hammer, cylinder twist, as you expect. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There you go, that's all around, so that works. And getting bullets out, we can just slide them out, holding gun upwards, or we can use extractor rod and get them out this way. There you go, all six out, and we put the extractor rod in the, in the place where it locks. And does it slide, does not slide down. So oh, that works, that works, combination works, and let's speak about the thing that can go wrong. And the main thing that can go wrong is this. As I just mentioned, up extractor rod. After using it, always lock it here. If you don't do it, it falls in the cylinder. You try to pull, pull hammer back, it goes just one click, and it should go two clicks, like one. There you go. One, two. But if there's something in the cylinder, if it's not turning, it will go just one click. And then if you keep going for the second one, you put more pressure. There are three things that hold this combination together. If you keep going inside, those things break. And there will be no, no more combination between hammer, trigger and cylinder. You still will be able to pull hammer back like this, but cylinder will be not moving. So. That's the main thing that can go wrong. So please be careful. Please be careful with that. And uppercut will travel to USA like this. And the reason is, when you see it, some customers like to paint it. So in case you want to paint it, this will be much more efficient. Sandpaper this, prime this, paint each part separate. The same as bullet. So, and whenever it's painted, or you don't want to paint it, you just want it as it is, put this on, put that thingy on, and this is the main important thing that locks the gun. As you see, without it, barrel keeps moving upwards, downwards. You put this in, barrel's not moving, and it's solid. So, Whenever you're ready, when you paint it or you don't want to paint it, put it there. Bit of super glue inside here. Any super glue will do. So, super glue inside there, put it in. It's glued and will not move again. And the same on this side. These two things also need to be glued together. Bit of super glue, any super glue inside so it's not visible. Super glue. Super glue, ready to go. So that's it. One more thing to say, one more thing to say is getting cylinder off really easy, right? When you try to put it back, it's against this little tiny thing that is called locking bolt. So the idea of locking bolt is to go get into these holes to prevent cylinder from spinning freely around. And to get that thing down when you put on cylinder, you need to do a small pull on hammer, you see? When I start pull it, it goes down. So, now it's blocking it, pull it tiny bit, on. Easy, silly. Not completely, then it goes back. It goes down just right in beginning. You see, at the end it stays in the same place. So, pull that back, cylinder on this one on, that goes in, glue on it, extract the rod in place, and here you go, Caldwell conversion uppercut, 3D printed from Han Showdown. Let's pack it and let's send it.